Planets Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. We're on day two of our two-day article for our book club this month, and it's called The Mystery of Henry Pick. 没错，我们今天要继续介绍昨天讲过的退稿图书馆。然后我们昨天简单的介绍了一下这个故事，对不对？本身呢，我们提到说有一个非常非常。平淡无奇的一个人叫做 Henry Pick， 他还写出了一本旷世巨作爱情小说。就后来有一个文学评评论员呢，就发觉到说这不太对啊，就展展开了调查。那我们今天要继续跟各位介绍一下这本书的作者他相关背景。And yesterday we asked you, is using a ghost writer cheating? Would you use a ghost writer? Are you okay reading books with ghost writers? I have no problem. One of my favorite books. Was a about a criminal,、mm. and it was his life story.、Mm. And he wasn't a writer, but he had such an interesting life as a criminal. And he used this really good writer to tell that story. And I love that book. Okay, 老师就说了，我们昨天也问到各位说，如果说今天找人家代写这样的事情，能不能接受呢？老师就提到说，他有读过一本书，非常非常喜欢，是讲到罪犯他自述他的故事。可是这个罪犯他不是自己写的，他是找人，然后告诉他的故事，然后把它写出来。Right. 老师非常喜欢这本书，所以他对于有找人代写是完全没问题的。So let us know in the comments. Tell us what you think. And with that, let's get ready. For paragraph one. one, the mystery of Henri Pic, similar to the story in the mystery of Henri Pic, its author David Fonkinos had many manuscripts of his own. His parents were often absent when he was little. This caused Fonkinos. Not to be introduced to culture and the arts until later in his life. In his teens, he suffered from a rare disease. He stayed in the hospital for months after going through heart surgery. It was at this time that Fonkinos discovered the magic of books. Those stories allowed him to escape from reality and travel to distant lands. After he became interested in creative writing, he wrote several of his own manuscripts. He didn't mention any of them to his family, though. He was rather modest about his passion for writing. He eventually became a jazz musician and a guitar teacher. Fonkinos originally wished to form a musical group, but didn't succeed. Therefore, he began to write again. He sent one of his manuscripts to a publishing company. After making several attempts to get his first book published, he finally succeeded. From then on, he started his career as a writer. All right, friends, let's jump right in with our paragraph similar to the story in the mystery of Henry Pick. Its author David Fonkinos had many manuscripts of his own. 好，我们来看第一段的第一句话。他说了 ，similar to the story in the mystery of Henry Pick. 啊 ，its author David Fonkinos. 好，这个地方我们先先讲一下前面这个地方。他说 ，similar to the story. 啊，好，然后后面讲到说这个啊，我们的退稿图书馆里面的这个情况，就跟他这个退稿图书馆里面的情况一样。我们的作者 David Fonkinos， 他本身呢 had many manuscripts of his own， 他自己本身也写了非常非多非常多的手稿哦。We can underline similar to and just write like like the story in the mystery of Henry Pick. All right, let's continue. His parents were often absent when he was little. 好，第二句话就说了 ，His parents were often absent. Absent 就是不在 ，not there 的意思。所以说，其实事实上，在他小的时候，在这个 Fonkino 小的时候呢，爸妈常常不在他身边啊、哦，他可能一定觉得很孤单吧。If you're a person that forgets things a lot, you are absent-minded. Mind, of course, you also need to announce, announce it, and then you add ed, absent-minded. 就是心不在焉的意思，心不在，所以你会说 absent hyphen。Minded, 好，这样子代表心不在焉。I need to write things down, or I forget them. I'm a little absent-minded. I know I have to write things down. 没错，心不在焉的话，就赶快要把它写下来，这样的话才不会忘记。That's right. This caused Fonkinos not to be introduced to culture and the arts until later in his life. 
。好，所以在这里的话，他就说了，因为爸妈长期不在他身边的那种感觉，对不对 ？This caused Flankinos not to be introduced to cultures and the arts until later in his life. 所以说，其实后来他接触到。这些，比方说艺术啦、文化啦等等，是比较年纪再再大一点的时候才接触到的。好，在这里的话，特别注意一下 ，cause somebody not to do something， 就是让这个人没有办法怎么样。Be introduced to， 就是去接触到，或是被引荐、介绍、认识某样东西。Pay attention to the word culture. This、uh, T U is a C H fine, so culture. 嗯，呃，不是 culture， 什么 chances， 错了。所以接下来你的 C。H and we have arts here. This means like movies, books, 怎么样 My dad、um, really liked country music,、mm. and he liked kind of that style of stuff. So when I got a little older, people were talking about different kinds of music, different kinds of culture, and I had never been introduced to it, and it was all new. And I, my friends thought that was really funny, but then sometimes. We would be in a situation to talk about like country music, and and I could talk a lot about that.、Mm-hmm. It was a weird thing for me that I was outside of a culture and then tour on inside of it. And also, I have a much older brother than me, and so he taught me about things like ten years before I was born. And、uh-huh. so I can talk with people that are older than me、ah. about that culture. And so when you're introduced to different cultures, it has a weird effect the way you are with your friends. Yeah, 没有错。老师这边讲了很有趣哦。比方说，像爸爸他很喜欢听乡村音乐，所以从小大家听了超多的乡村音乐的。于是呢，老师跟其他朋友混在一起的时候，然后其他朋友说：“哎，我们来听摇滚乐啊。That's right, ”We like rock and roll, loud rock and roll. 嗯，然后我说：“哈，摇滚乐。”然后老师会处在完全状况外的情况下，不晓得。<笑>但是如果大家提到说乡村乐，哎，乡村乐什么？老师可以津津乐道的一直讲说：“哦，我告诉你，乡村有什么什么什么什么，讲很多。”所以甚至老师还有一个那、这个比较大的哥哥。啊，会大概大十岁左右吧。所以说，今天也会跟他讲，他在出生之前有什么东西很流行。他也可以跟许多比他大十岁的人可以产生共同的话题。I was always able to talk to like my bosses and like older older、mm. friends. I could always make a connection because I knew their movies and their their music and stuff like that. So it's it's always a little good to kind of learn that if you can. But you also need to be introduced to it. 没错，所以你需要有人介绍这样的文化给你嘛。然后你是被介绍的，就是跟我们这边讲的 to be introduced to something 是一样的哦。Let's continue. In his teens, he suffered from a rare disease. 好，在他他告诉你说 ，in his teens， 在他青少年时期呢 ，he suffered from a rare disease。他呢去得他得到了一个蛮罕见的疾病。Yeah. So I underlined disease and I wrote illness. I L L N E S S illness. 嗯、mm, ，illness 就是疾病的意思，就是这边的 disease. Let's continue. He stayed in the hospital for months after going through heart surgery. Wow. wow. 所以这边的话，你看一下，他说 he stayed in the hospital for months after going through heart surgery. 这边注意第一件事情 ，surgery 这个字呢，它本身是不可数的，所以它不会讲 going through a heart surgery. <笑>这个地方你可以帮我写一个 a，、uh, 然后打一个大叉叉。好，因为在 surgery 在英式美式英文里面的话是不可数的东西。在他接受过心脏手术之后呢，他呢 he stayed in the hospital for months. 在医院待了几个月。So we can also say going through or undergoing heart surgery, but going through is two words. Undergoing is one word. 嗯、mm, ，undergoing 的话就是一个字哦。它的话拼法它就是把那个 under 再加上 going 变成一个字，然后再加那个后面的 heart surgery 就可以了。Are you okay with ghost writers in your books? Uh, goes. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. I I assume I feel、uh-huh. if I read a book from a famous person, like it's a really famous person, they used a ghostwriter. Like、ah. I, maybe I'm wrong, but I usually feel that's the case because they're singers or movie stars. They're not writers. That's not their job, right? Can、mm-hmm. they do everything well? No. Right. So I feel probably if you read a book by a famous person, someone helped them. 对，没有错，搞不好说很多很多的一些创作者啦等等，他们把他们故事讲出来，未必是他们自己写的，他们是找人操刀，自己不会是自己去写这些故事，那可能可能找人润饰，或者整个人找人代写，都是有可能的。Okay, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, it's time for paragraph two. Okay, friends, welcome back to Enjoy English School. We're on paragraph two and day two 
on pages 16 and 17. Let's begin. It was at this time when Folikinos was going through heart surgery. He dis uh, Folikinos discovered the magic of books. 好，接下来我们就继续看了。我们刚刚前面提到说，他呢接受了心脏手术之后，在医院待了好几个月，对不对？接下来告诉你说 ，It was at this time that 好。各位，你各位一定要帮我把 it was， 然后 that 这几个字把它画起来。好，就是在这个时候，它有点像是 quotation marks， 就是变成是，就是要去强调 at this time， 就在这个时间，在生病的这段时间里头呢 ，Frankino's discovered the magic of books， 他感受到了书的魅力。Yeah, it's a weird thing after you undergo surgery because you're very weak、mm. and you can't do a lot, right? right. So you, that's why hospitals have a lot of TVs. Now today you can use your phone or iPad, but in the past you didn't have that.、Mm. And there was this musician, and his name was Brian Eno. In fact, he's still alive. His name is Brian Eno, and he underwent he went through surgery, and to kind of help his friend, uh, 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 his friend put some music on, but turned it quiet. It was a hospital, so his friend didn't want to bother anyone. And Brian Eno went a little crazy trying to hear the music. What is this song? He couldn't hear it. It was so quiet. And this kind of going through surgery, struggling to hear the music, and trying to make him relax, it helped Brian Eno invent a new kind of music called ambient. So、oh. you can look up ambient music on YouTube. A M B I E N T. And it's a little bit like like a lo-fi hip hop. Maybe you know like a lo-fi girl. She like it's kind of like mu- very soft music、uh-huh. that's good to study or work to. Oh, is 那种很适合读书的那种音乐。它有点低调。它这个音乐的名称叫做 ambient。然后老师刚刚要提到提到这个人叫 Brian Eno。Brian Eno。Brian Eno。Eno, yeah. Eno。这个人呢，他当初这也是因为。住了住了院，然后人家呢给他放这个音乐给他听，可是这个音乐呢可能调太小声，他很很仔细的去听啊。他听久了之后，他想说，哎、啊，那我干脆创造出一个比较低调，可以让人家好好的专专注放松的音乐，就变成了这个 ambient 这样音乐。But I think it's funny because the music made him crazy because it was too quiet.、Mm. So he invented this music to relax. <laughs> a, I think that's interesting. So ambient, or or look up lo-fi hip hop. Take a just the ambient, just what Brian Eno wanted to do when he went through the surgery.、Mm. Okay, let's continue. The、uh, those stories allowed him to escape from reality and travel to distant lands. 好，所以就是这些故事呢，让他能够怎么样 ？To escape from reality， 让他能够脱离现实。And travel to distant lands, 让他的心心思可以有机会到遥远的国度里头。After he became interested in creative writing, he wrote several of his own manuscripts. 好，接下来就说了 ，After he became interested in， 接在接下来他就开始变得对什么东西有兴趣了呢 ？Creative writing， 好，这种创作的那种写作。He wrote several of his own manuscripts. 他就开始一直写，一直写，写了许多手稿。He didn't mention any of them to his family, though. He was rather modest about his passion for writing. So they had a terrible family. <laughs> oh, so here, here, look. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them to his family. He didn't mention any of them About his passion for writing, 对于他这种突然对于写作感产生的热爱啊、喜好啊，他是非常非常低调的。Modest 这个字本来的意思是指谦逊的 ，being humble。好，但是在这里的话是指说，尽量不要特别去张扬，去说明说，哦，我最近开始写作喽。没有。I have heard that if you are like a middle level famous person, not like super top famous person, you're like a middle level famous person, people in your hometown don't like you. They're mad. That you're a little famous, they don't want to say, "Wow, good job!" or "Wow, that's special." It in your home,、uh, maybe in your town, they kind of don't like you. But then, if you become super famous,、mm. then your hometown loves you the most.、Oh. So,、uh, th- this is what I've I've heard this a few times, and I this makes me feel really sad. Like, oh, it's so sad. Yeah, if yeah. I hear like my friends doing something great, like even just a little great, I want to support them. I want it like,、huh. man, I want to be there. To be your cheerleader, I want to say, yeah, let's go. I want to be your your booster, B O O S T E R. I want to help you up. So when I hear about this, it always makes me feel sad. But I've heard this many times, especially like musicians. 
哦、oh, ，OK， 所以老师提到说，很多时候他之前看了研究说，如果今天你在这个某个圈子里面小有名气的话， yeah. 其实当地人的话，其实不会特别特别喜欢你。哦、oh, ，你太污了！哎呀，你这什么了不起？他可能会有一些言语贬义的。但是如果哪一天你真的突然大放异彩，然后变得很有名很有名，<笑>大家就说哇，我早就知道他很行，他会成功的。他突然之间你会被众人爱戴，可是那种感觉听起来就很不舒服。然后老师讲说，如果是他的朋友的话呢，<笑>就算你只有小有名气，我也会很努力的说，好、哦，继续加油。有啊，帮你打气，当你的啦啦队这样。I try to I try to be my friend's like first fan. I want to be like the loud crazy fan for them because it makes other people okay to cheer and be like be happy for them. So for me, it's like、oh, let me help you up.、Right? 没错没错，真的是、so、一定要这样做。<laughs> like, help your friends. 没错。Okay, with that, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, it's time for paragraph three. Okay, friends, welcome back to Enjoy English School. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. Would you ever try writing your own manuscript? I'll try to type it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it saves time. <laughs> Do you think you have the passion, the the drive, or the love to write a book? A book? Oh, it's a, a lot of effort. I I don't know if I if I have that. Uh huh. Uh, but if you guys have that, like, how do you do? You think? You would want to write a story about your life because you know about it,、uh -huh. or do you want to create your own story? So I have been doing book club. Well, we've been doing enjoy book club for a long time,、yeah. and then at our sister magazine, Analytical, I also do book club. And what's I 研究那个作者 And I always hear about like especially the E 班 D 三 D R 班 D 三班 they write about their own life、mm -hmm. because you understand it the most, and then.、Right. When you become a better writer, you can write about other things. Right. But I always feel like your first or second book, they're、mm -hmm. about your life. True. True. Yeah. 很多时候都是这样，因为大部分的时候，如果你要写进深处，你有话想说，很多时候都会多半会是从自己身身边的人，或甚至自己的故事去取材。所以老师就提到说，好在看这个好书俱乐部好几次的这个单元里来，发现到他们很多的作家在第一本、第二本大卖的作品呢，都在讲他们自己的故事。Yeah, I think so. All right, let's go to our story. So he, that means our author today, he eventually became a jazz musician and a guitar teacher. Oh, hmm, 很厉害吧？所以你看，这这里的话就告诉你说，其实很多时候作家未必只有写作这件事，他可能有其他方面的专长。在这边的话，你就可以看到他说，他最终呢，后来变成了一个爵士乐爵士音乐家，还有呢，一个吉他的老师。Foreign Kinos originally wished to form a musical group. But didn't succeed. 好，就要告诉你说了。Fankinos， 我们的作者 ，originally originally wished to form a musical group. 他本来是希望能组成自己的乐团 ，but didn't succeed. 但是最后没有成功。Hey Anthony, yeah, can I give you my hot take. Uh huh. So your hot take means your like strong opinion. It's okay to be bad at your hobby. Like you can. Really like to do something and be bad at it, and、mm -hmm. that's okay. I think a lot of people feel if it's your hobby, you have to be really, really good at it. And、uh -huh. I actually don't agree with that. I think it's okay to really like jazz music and try to be a jazz guitarist and be terrible at it. But、uh -huh. you have fun, and that's okay. And I think we try to make our hobbies like you. This is my hobby because I'm really good at it. But no, it's it's okay to be really bad at the things you like. Yeah, 没有错，我也同意啊。老师这边讲到说，如果说今天很多人都希望说，啊，你的这个嗜好本身应该要很强、很强、很强，才可以当你的嗜好啊，不一定啊。事实上，如果说今天你很喜欢弹吉他，但弹的没有很好，那有什么关系？反正只要你每次弹吉他的时候你很快乐，这样就行啦。哦，也许你弹小声一点，邻居不会抗议，这样 OK 了。<laughs> Listen, I'm not a great singer, but everyone in my classroom knows I love to sing. Oh.、Uh, But I just do it for fun and laughs. I'm not、yeah. a great singer, but I love it, and that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's continue. Therefore, he began to write again. 好，所以接下来呢，居然组团没有成功嘛。Therefore, 所以呢 ，he began to write again. 他又重拾的这个写作，这这个嗜好了。Okay, let's look at our next sentence. He sent one of his manuscripts to a publishing company. After making several attempts to get his first book published. He finally succeeded. 好，所以说组团没成功呢，于是他改改开始写作。
he sent one of his manuscripts to a publishing company. Publishing company, 我们之前就看过了，就是出版社的意思。他把其中的一份手稿呢送给出版社，请他们看一看能不能够出版。结果后来呢 ，after making several attempts. To get his first book published, 好，他试过了好几次，想办法让他的第一本书出版。好，试了好几次之后呢 ，he finally succeeded. 最后终于成功啦。From then on, he started his career as a writer. 好，从那时候开始呢，他就踏上了作家之路。好，这样这样的一条路了。So when you look at a book from a new author, maybe this author is not successful. The name of the book will be very, very big. And then the author's name will be very, very small.、Mm -hmm. But then later, when that author becomes famous, the author's name becomes very, very big, and then the name of the book becomes very, very small because it's difficult to become a successful author. And then once you're a successful author, your story can be so-so, and they'll keep publishing it because people like to keep buying books from the same author. Yeah, 没错。所以你可以去观察一下书店哈。如果说今天发现到书名很大。作者很小，那应该不是太有名的作者。Right. 但如果说今天呢，作者非常非常大，然后书名小小的，你就知道哦，这是一个厉害的作者。为什么？因为如果说今天一个作者很不容易的，好不容易才能够在这个文坛里面成功，所以说大家陆陆续续，就算他写出一两本作品不怎么样，大家还是会去买，所以要去放大那个作者。哦，这是谁写的哦？谁怎么样？你可以去观察这个现象。Do you do this in Chinese too? 也是，都是一样的。Yeah, okay. 嗯、I, I can't think of a good Chinese example, but you really see that in English. Let's get ready for vocab review. Okay, friends, it's time for vocab review, and our first word today is absent. Absent 就是缺席、不在的意思。Yeah, you'll hear your you'll hear this in your English classroom. Okay, are you here? Are you absent? My kids like this. I'll say, Anthony, are you here? And my student says, No, I'm absent. <laughs> okay. okay. Number two. To introduce somebody to something. Ah,、uh, to introduce somebody to something 就是介绍什么东西让人知道。Number three, to go through usually something difficult. 嗯、mm, ，go through 就是历经经过什么样，通常是一些比较困难的事情。Number four, to escape from. To escape from 就是逃离。好，在这边的话，我们看到的是 escape from reality， 逃离现实。Number five, we have an adjective distant. Distant 就是在远方的、遥远的。Number six to mention to mention 就是指去提到什么什么事情。Number seven to succeed to succeed 就是成功，它是一个动词哦。And number eight, this is a noun, but it can be a verb. An attempt. Attempt. 好，在这里的话是指试图、企图要做。You try to do something. 企图去做，在这边的话当名词使用。And we can use it to make a verb to attempt to do something. That just means to try to do something. 嗯，你也可以把它当动词 ，attempt to do something， 也就是要去试着去做什么事情。All right. And before we go, don't forget to tell us in the comments what do you think about ghostwriters. Are you okay with ghostwriters? And maybe you want to write a story. Do you think you'll talk about your own life and kind of hide it in the story, or do you want to make something all new? Let us know in the comments. I always like to see when people、uh, leave something for us.、Uh, Yeah, just like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, 老师希望各位，如果说今天你要写故事的话，你会从自己的故事开始讲呢，还是你会讲一个全新的、跟你生活截然无关的故事？或者你对于这个找人代写这件事情的看法是什么呢？留在在留言区写给我们，让我们知道哦。All right, and that's it for enjoying the school. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye.